All right, here we go. I'll just dump. I'm hoping there's earrings in here. I really particularly like selling earrings. All right, we have this cross and it is marked Art, which is Arthur Pepper. And I actually think crosses by Arthur Pepper do pretty well. So I am very happy to see this. This is faux coral, and it's almost in the style of a very skinny Maltese cross because these point out. Otherwise, I have a magnifying glass. I have a fancy, <laughs> my fancy magnifying glass right here. So we'll see if I can see what it says. 10k it says 10k you guys okay so we are on ebay it says vintage designer francois signed gold tone polished brush cho brushed choker necklace which is similar similar to this one so that one was 34.99 we have one for 49.99 we have one for 50 49.95 um, 54 for that silver, 30, oh, 99, 99. And then they have the tassel right there in that picture. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works. And today <clears throat> we are going to be doing some more vintage jewelry on baggings, unboxings from shopgoodwill.com. <clears throat> I did take a look at the price that I paid for this particular bag. This one I got for $89, and this one actually looks a little bit more promising, but I did look at my receipt and all those earrings I showed you last time, which I dumped them all out to count them. Um, I'm going to be doing that as well. So we have all of these like vintage earrings, and this actually was included in the price of the last lot that we unboxed. I totally overpaid but what I wanted to do is I want to count the earrings I could potentially sell I didn't really research them I really didn't even look at them so it's going to be interesting to go through those with you um but I wanted to see what my cost of goods was and it's about a dollar or I'm sorry two dollars and eighty cents per um item from that lot which is more usually I pay around a dollar per piece for my shopgoodwill.com lots. So like if I can get, you know, let's just say I get 89 pieces from here. My cost of goods is around 80, or I'm sorry, a dollar each for this. I'm thinking I'm not gonna get that. I'm thinking I'm gonna be more like $2 per piece out of here. But um, I still think that that is a great deal. And I track my inventory, um, how much I paid per piece on my Vendu. So I wanted to make sure I counted how many pieces I was listing so that I was pr like, I kind of got an idea of how much I was paying to put it in my notes because I listed a bunch of pieces already. Um, if, as you guys can tell, I am um, almost completely better. I still have a bit of a sore throat and a cough. So we are getting there. Yay, it's been like four weeks. It's been rough and like my it's like been like circling through the family so yeah it's been it's been a time <clears throat> anyways if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Rachel and I am a full full-time stay-at-home homeschooling mom and hustling at home doing the reselling thing and I've fallen in love with jewelry in particular um, very easy to list, fast for me to list, really works for my schedule. Plus, I'm just really excited about it. As many of you know, I absolutely love vintage, love, love, love. Like, look at this koi pattern <laughs> top. Like, yeah, I just love the feminine, romantic, and the gemstones and antiques. I just, I just love. It is definitely my vibe. My, my mom has been taking me to antique stores since I was a baby and the same thing with my girls as well all right I see some shoe clips and things in here I'm so excited yay so yeah let me turn the camera down and we can get right into it all right here we go I'll just dump I'm hoping there's earrings in here I really particularly like selling earrings because they're very easy to list and yeah, today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. 
a another. Oh, we have some loose beads. Okay, as always, I have my absolutely. Oh yay! Um, I have my absolutely yes bin. I have my maybe bin, and I have my um, bin of <clears throat> my crafting bin. So that just helps me get through things a lot faster. And then what did this say? This said that it was vintage costume jewelry grab bag four pounds. Okay, I'm like super, I'm super liking this over here. And then I wanted to show you, this looks like it is a bag of earrings and scarf clips, which are super easy to list for me. Okay, kind of want to just go to this right here because look at this box clasp and look at how beautiful these pink beads are how much do we love this these are like opalescent um they are plastic but they feel like a really nice quality so does it say anything on the back no let's see nope Anyways, I do not even care. This one is a definite yes. This one's gorgeous. I love this light pink color. How much do we love this? I love this. In good shape. Yay. Okay. Yes. All right. What is this thing sticking out? Ooh, a cross. Kind of like a Maltese cross. Let's see. So yeah, we went for sushi. We got a love boat type sushi for like the family the all the kids like sushi um Serafina my stepdaughter isn't too like interested in the raw the kids don't uh, don't really know if it's raw or not I know a lot of people don't like it but we totally do in our family all right we have this cross and it is marked art which is Arthur Pepper and I actually think crosses by Arthur Pepper do pretty well so I am very happy to see this this is faux coral, and it's almost in the style of a very skinny Maltese cross because these point out. So I think that this one will do really, really well. So this one is a score. Yay! Definite yes. And then my kids, they all painted um, handprints for me to make a sunshine. Aw, this one's broken. This one looks like it has celluloid carved flowers and is it marked nope not marked all right we're gonna set that aside in case anything fell apart in the bag in transit okay oh we have another faux coral piece coming out faux squash blossom <clears throat> and, and if you ever <laughs> come across a genuine real um, Native American squash blossom those are thousands of dollars so even just to have a pendant of a squash blossom can be a few hundred dollars okay so this is lovely stylish faux coral this kind of looks similar to that other piece the art piece I'm wondering if this one is signed yes art woohoo okay it's signed right down there right there art so that is awesome it's a little bit dirty and then there's the clasp so yeah it's not signed on the clasp but it is signed on here i am really curious i'm going to while i'm editing this maybe put up comps for this because i have not seen a piece like this by arthur pepper okay we have three really good ones so far okay let's take out this which looks like a lot of fun and boho what are you what are you look at this what are we looking at here it looks like i'm so confused this one is backwards did someone accidentally put it on back on backwards like it fell off all right so no maker's mark but yeah, really, really, really pretty dangles. And I don't think this is vintage. This is more like a vintage style, but it is like a J. Crew type looking necklace. I'm going to have to turn this one around. That one is strange. <laughs> Backwards. Um, 
It's not as nice of quality as J. Crew though. J. Crew uses really, really nice quality costume uh, materials. And this one is just a little, just not too bad, but just a little bit. But I'm still gonna sell that one. That one's really nice and fun and statement piece. What is this? What is this? This, okay, so I have suspenders for my daughter and I'm like, is this like an attachment for suspenders? No. Is it, is it a sweater chain, but different? I don't know. What is this, you guys? It's really pretty nonetheless. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna probably sell that. Honestly, I think that it's something that I can get, uh, at least $7.99 for, and that's kind of my threshold. Oh, 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 you guys, stop. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this chunky lucite leaf dangle charm faux pearl situation. What? This is, this is gorgeous. All right, I'm checking the back of the leaves to see if any of them are marked. They're not someone's going to love this. Someone is going to die and fall in love with this. This is something I don't see very often. So this kind of thing gets me so excited. Plus it's purple. And you guys know from the reselling vintage jewelry world that purple kind of stands out. So, uh, yeah, that one is a definite yes. Okay. We haven't found any maybes yet. I see a ring. I see a poison ring. <laughs> Do you guys see this? Oh, look at that. How much fun. Okay, so Serafina, my stepdaughter, was wearing a poison ring today. But it was like we were eating sushi and her ring was open like this. And, she, and I was like, Serafina, all your poison's dumped out. <laughs> she was oh yeah, I ran out. Because she has a ring that opens like that. But obviously you can put things in there. Um, I don't know, what would you put in there? What are some ideas? Um, and it's adjustable. Let's see what it's marked as. Cerakove. So this is a Cerakove tree poison ring. This is a faux stone cabochon, but gorgeous, stunning. We love that. Yes. Okay. We are doing really, really well. And that is super exciting. Oh no, this one is the sad one. Okay. We're going to carefully set this aside because this is the one that is falling apart and that would have been super lovely. Oh, those beautiful vintage pearl. Oh, what was it? Was it? It's marked, um, marked on the clasp Japan. I do love selling those triple strand Japan hook necklaces so much. So that is a super bummer. Oh, okay. We have a, we have, we have two we have, they're all hooked together. Okay, we have some screwbacks, which I'm super excited about. I love selling screwbacks. Screwbacks are, are <clears throat> very vintage. Like I would say early 20th century to mid-century. All right, so we have a lion on a shield, enamel, not marked, but these are very like, nightly and nice statement pieces and I love them love love okay those are a yes um okay let's carefully take some more out okay we have this enamel boat okay so I think it was the 1950s or the 1960s where women wore these big, big giant charms, like maybe like one statement charm on a linked bracelet like this. And a lot of times they were gold. So if you see a charm, like, like I sold one, I think like $90 or something like that on Facebook marketplace. And I don't think it was gold. I tested it. Um, but it had a genuine pearl in it. And yeah, there are some charms like this that are giant, that are not pendants. They're actually these big statement charms and they can go for a lot of money. This is an enamel sailboat. 
So I'm going to definitely sell this one. This one's really fun. Giant, giant charm. Okay, we have this that looks similar to like a listener piece. This is the pink thermoset in like a ginkgo leaf shape. And then a, a textured gold. Let's see. I don't think it's marked. And it's... I would say it's equivalent quality to a listener, maybe, but I think that this will sell based off of the, like, thermoset, which is almost like a plastic moon glow. It needs to be cleaned up, but it's like a light pink, dark pink pattern, and it's just lovely, lovely, lovely. So, yeah, we will sell that one. Okay, we have this twisted two-tone necklace. Um, I think I will sell this. This could be a unisex, like twisted torsade, twisted rope chain, silver tone, gold tone, really heavy, thick. That will be a yes. Okay, we have this gorgeous blue. I'm hoping it's not broken in any way. This looks like a uh, Joan Rivers or something. Okay, okay, we have a hook. And we have gorgeous blue things going on. And it says Japan. Yay, we have one intact. And it is blue. And look at these. Look at these beads. They are plastic, but still really, really beautiful. Yay! Okay, that one is a yes. All right, but let's get this little guy. Okay. So it's just a little tiny pendant. Is it marked at all? Actually, yes. Do you guys see right in there? On the on the top of the stone, it's marked something. I can't see it, so I'm going to. Where's my loop? Where? Where is my loop? Otherwise, I have a magnifying glass. I have a fancy. <laughs> my fancy magnifying glass right here so we'll see if I can see what it says 10k it says 10k you guys um well well what what oh, and it's on this chain that says more things I think it says sterling so it looks like a verme chain what else does it say 925 Okay, so I have my Presidium on. I am going to put this in front of you guys so you can see if this is anything. Alright, so this is going to a Spinel... Oh, Topaz? So it's either a Spinel or a Topaz, probably. Um, but it's more... It's closer into the spinel area. Uh, I'm going to take a look at what spinels look like, the blue spinels versus the topaz because it's it's sometimes jumping up into the topaz a little bit more. But so we have the sterling silver verme chain. You can tell like this gold is a little bit different than this gold plated. This, the gold plated is a little bit lighter. This has a little bit more um, gold tone to it, I guess. And then I'm wondering, should we test the little stones on top? I don't know what those are. Maybe just CZs. I don't know. Now these stones are really, really little at the top. So I'm going to see if we can get those. All right, we're trying. It's moving. Um, I think it just keeps slipping off the little stones. So I'm thinking the, the little ones are CZs just because it just keeps... Oh, there we go. Nope, never mind. That buzz right there means that I'm on the metal. Okay, 
So yay, that one is a definite score. Woohoo. All right, let's move you. I see this like Chinese Asian style, which might be Sarah Coventry. These are a bit worn, but I think this, if this is Sarah Coventry, it's like an older, older style. So we'll see. Oh no, more, more beads are falling. Okay. Um, do we have a clasp? I'm wondering if this is, oh, here's a clasp. We found, where'd it go? There we go. All right, this is not marked at all. I'm going to put this in my maybe. Okay, my first maybe. There is wear, not marked. Um, so I'm just going to put this in the maybe. And think about it later. <gasps> we love. We love. We already love. Who loves? <gasps> Look at all these three-dimensional coins. Okay, this is special. This is special. They are all different... Um, Tones, copper, gold, and then like a bronzish kind of, or silverish. Okay, not marked. This is a charm bracelet. Yeah, not marked. What does it say? It says Elizabeth Regina. Um, is it, does that mean the reign of Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth? Okay, that is amazing. And I love how they made them three-dimensional. Wow, that one, people love their coin jewelry. That is a definite yes. Okay, we have these ladybugs. There is wear on the underneath side. And the enamel, though, on them make them look really nice. Um, so the metal part underneath is like worn more see that <clears throat> but the top part still is in a pretty decent condition I'm gonna put this in the maybe not marked very similar to some um, I have some scatter pins by Joan Rivers that are ladybugs like that All right, I'm seeing this do you guys see this <laughs> it is like staring at me like come get me I'm beautiful all right, we have to carefully get out that one. <gasps> I see the tassel. I see the tassel. Is this, um, um, what is it? Let's see. Emmons? No. What is it? It says, oh yeah, it is Emmons. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Let's take a look. So that tassel can mean something, but what does it say? F R F R O or F R E M G O T S or something? What? I'm confused. Uh oh wait, there's another. And Francois? Is that what it is? Francois? Francois? Okay, we need to look that up right now. <laughs> I am so curious. And then look at how it's etched in the middle of the, the leaves to make them almost sparkle. Okay, we are going to look up Francois. Francois. Okay, so we are on eBay. It says vintage designer Francois signed gold tone polished brushed, cho brushed choker necklace, which is similar similar to this one. So that one was $34.99. We have one for $49.99. We have one for $50, $49.95. Um, $54 for that silver, $30. Oh, $99.99. And then they have the tassel right there in that picture. Coral plus so, oh, 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 so is it coral? See, didn't I say, didn't I think that that tassel was coral? So is, is Francois like a diffusion or maybe the des one of the designers of coral? You guys, we're learning things. We're learning things. Okay, this one says coral as well. This one says coral. Coral. Okay, you guys, we're finding out things. Francois coral. 
Wow. Okay, we are excited about this. Who is so loving this? Who is loving this? All right, you guys, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I noticed a lot of you guys have been unsubscribed, and then you comment on my videos, and I'm like, I thought, like, I think that they're unsubscribing people. <laughs> so make sure you're subscribed. Um, we love this. Gorgeous. Yes. That is exciting. So, so exciting. Ha ha ha. Okay, I see eyeballs. Oh, this gorgeous, gorgeousness. Um, wow. This is Italian. Barrel clasp. I'm just going to Google Lens this really quickly so I can give you guys more keywords. Okay, so this is something I want to learn more about, but when I Google Lens this, this is why I wanted to Google Lens it, is because a lot of people call them Murano Millefiori. Do you see that? But how do they know? And I thought Millefiori was the small, tiny tiles that like you make brooches and things out of. Okay, help me out, you guys. So we have Millefiori Murano. So, I mean, I might put that because it's a searchable term and a lot of people are putting that, but I don't know if that's correct. So if you guys know more about, like, the Venetian glass or whatever, what what are these called? Are these Millefiori? Are they Murano? Are they both? With all these, like, melted flower things. So, like, my job as a reseller is to make my item searchable. <laughs> so I want it to get to the right buyer that is using the certain terms. So if they're looking for Millefiori, Murano, whatever, like, it's my job to put that in there if this is what they're looking for. Um, sometimes people, like, will put a modern, bra like, a bracelet, for instance, a modern bracelet, but it's it's like really hippie. People might put 70s hippie boho style because um, even though it's not from the 70s, it's like 70s style to make their item more searchable for that audience. Um, because some people might just want a, you know, brand new 70s style, bo bohemian style or whatever. So yeah, it's my job as a reseller to make things searchable for people. So Give me your thoughts on this. Very, very beautiful, gorgeous. Nonetheless, this is going to do well. Yay. Okay, see something under here. What is this? 1993. A metal. Okay, no idea. No idea. We're putting that in the maybe. Okay, we have another maybe. So right now we have three maybes. Is this the one that the beads are okay we we need to collect the beads because look oh wait it might have just been a, a part of the tassel that's fine okay I'm not I'm I'm okay with that wait maybe this one as well <gasps> but look at these lamp work beads these are just so so nice and then they're pink okay we're gonna gently handle this one it needs to come out it is gorgeous it is beautiful Oh no, it's missing some beads right there, I think. Okay. We have to protect this one because this is so, so gorgeous. So stunning. And yeah, some beads are missing. Oh, there they go. Where are they falling off from? don't even know somewhere oh right there why I bet you that these all got damaged in transit that is a bummer oh there goes there goes another oh <laughs> okay it looks like maybe this string was running through all of this and then this is where it broke right here and uh, that's so sad maybe if I just took off the entire string and then made this like a one 
one string on both sides. Okay, we're gonna move this to the side. I don't really like fixing pieces, but this like wedding cake lamp work situation is just way, way, way too gorgeous. Way, way. Okay, I see some more beautiful things. We have the snail chain, faux pearl, loveliness, vintage. Okay. I'm suspecting this has a spring ring. I'm hoping there's a maker, but I don't think that there is. Yes, so we do have the spring ring right there. This is definitely vintage, and it's in pretty good shape. Really, really love this one, and it's very long. I would say maybe like 40 inches-ish. Okay, that one is a yes. Okay, we have, what is happening here? What is happening here? Oh, that's why the hook is hooked on. Okay, so the hook doesn't say anything. And then here is the tag. Is this the tag? It's vintage, but I do not know if this is a maker's mark or what. And then it has this big statement hollow perforated um metal bead let's see let's see what this looks like should we put it on our bust just to get an idea <clears throat> okay there we go so that's what that looks like it's very very beautiful i don't so i noticed that some people um, in my Facebook group, like, we'll say something like, I've had this piece sitting around for two months, or I've had this piece sitting around for six months, or something like that, because they don't know a certain maker. And I highly doubt, even if I would Google Lens it, I probably would not be able to find it out. So my best advice is that what I do is I just list it as if there's not a maker, and then I will just put that it is signed, because... Um, sometimes, or you could even like list it with the tag in the picture and maybe some collector will recognize it, but that I feel like that would be a very slim chance. Um, if it's something that I don't recognize or is not in the file database that I created, it's kind of, yeah, I think that it's pretty difficult unless it's like a sterling silver piece, gold piece, something that you are okay with investing a lot of time into. Something like this, it's not going to sell for a ton of money, so I'm not going to like invest a lot of time worrying about it. So I would just list it as best as I can um, from what de decade I think it's from. So I would just put designers signed or marked or something like that. So this one is a yes. Ooh, we have another ring. <gasps> it's pointy. It's pointy and it's beautiful and... It almost looks like um, plique jour, but it's like more bubbled. So I don't know, poured glass, something. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. We love it. And there's a little, a little, a little stone at the top. Okay, I am so excited about this, you guys. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm dying. Look at how much. Do we love this? We love this. I'm just telling you guys what we love. Okay, I'm looking for marks real quick. It says 14K. No, this is totally tarnishing. Is it 14K plated? Is that what they're trying to say? Um, it does say 14K on the inside. It, it does look nicely made. I think that these are more like poured glass. But we'll, we'll check out the stone at the top <clears throat> because that one is faceted, that little stone. All right, so <laughs> we are right at the top of quartz amethyst citrine, so that might be a CD, CZ, or it's at the bottom of jadeite and spinel. Yeah, so it's it's either one of those. All right, let me test a pink. 
Oh. Whoa. I thought it was poured glass. And it says topaz. Okay, what does this green one say? The green one is just glass. What about this? Okay, so these are just, what was this one, purple? Is that glass? I don't know. So that pink one though went all the way up. Glass. Well that is, in, oh, that one's going up. It is going up to Jadeite Spinel. And interesting. Okay. And then that one looks like Tiger's Eye. So these might be like semi-precious gemstones or glass in there. Like maybe that's a tiger's eye right here. And then it looks like we have more of these like stones. I don't know. Like what are these stones? I don't know. I'm wondering if Google Lens will help me with this beauty. But that is awesome. kind of want to see if it actually is like sterling. Because it's like not gold, but I know gold can sometimes tarnish as well. I only have my 18 karat um, down here, so it wouldn't it wouldn't give me accurate results if it, if I was testing for 14 karat, anyways. Oh, it's scratching as a gold color. Okay, so maybe it is gold. I'm gonna see if I have my some um, 14 k acid. All right, I have 22, I have 18, I have platinum, and I have sterling silver. Yeah, those are the ones that I have down here. So, all right, well, we're gonna just, it, my other um, acids are upstairs. So yeah, the 18 karat gold acid, eat that up really quickly, um, which <laughs> if I was testing for sterling, then it wouldn't, okay. So I'm wondering if it actually is 14 karat gold because it is scratching gold on my stone. Uh, so it is very thin. So it must have been worn quite a bit. Definitely looks like it's from another land that I have never been. <laughs> so we're, we're loving this. We're spending a lot of time with you because you're beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Love that. Okay. What is this? It looks like a locket, spring ring, and there's some smudgy stuff in there, but really, really pretty anyways. Just clean that out with a toothbrush. So it is a locket. Eh, what is all this stuff? There is just, I'm wondering if they glued pictures in here possibly, and then took them back out. Okay, so I don't see that it's marked anywhere. I'm going to put this in the maybe to see what that's all about. <clears throat> oh, this looks like check glass. This, this looks like, oh, there's some, there's some yuck, but look at this. <gasps> Let's see. out. Okay. This is gorgeous. We love this. Let's get this off. This has some good vintage pieces. The other one was like Goodwill thought. And this, this came from the same location, you guys. So someone probably, there were probably different people who thought different things of what con to consider vintage. Okay, so I want to be careful with these pieces. Um, look at this brass and this stone. So it does have the spring ring clasp right there. Yeah, the chain, needs, the whole thing needs to just be cleaned 
but that is a beautiful amber color. If I had to guess, I would think that this is Czech, but it also could be something else, like, I don't know, like Turkish or some something that I'm just so unfamiliar with. Um, yeah, gorgeous. That is so stunning. Definitely needs to be cleaned, and if the tassel, like, falls apart, I'm just going to take the tassel off. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have another ring. This one's thick. This one is a thick band. Okay. And it's also adjustable. And it has a little faux pearl, I think. Are you marked? Not marked. Um, but yeah, is this called a cigar band or something like that? Or it's wider? Um, I'm going to put this in the maybe. Just look, look into that a little bit further to see if I want to sell that. Oh, this one's missing. This one's missing a plastic part on the link. And it's kind of tangled. Okay, so it was a bracelet. Not marked. Okay, I'm thinking this was a MCM. We're putting that one into craft. <gasps> oh, stop. Oh, 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 <laughs> I get that. Look at these prongs even. Look at the Art Deco marcasite. And then it's marked sterling on the back of these panels. Um... Oh, look at these chains. Look. So I do see some wear coming through. So these panels are sterling. This one looks like it's not. What? But it kind of looks like a book chain. Um, what is this? Carved. It almost feels like soapstone. I haven't seen green soapstone. Is there such a thing as green cinnabar? Is that what that is? Is this green cinnabar? Because it's carved like cinnabar and almost feels like cinnabar as well. I want to see. I want to see. You guys, this is so exciting. Is there carved green cinnabar? Let's see. Carved green cinnabar. All right, so we have... Let's see what carved green cinnabar looks like. Green cinnabar vintage. It looks lighter. Oh, that one looks darker. Oh, 1050. Whoa. Okay. This one's Amy Khan, 145. I don't know, is there any darker colors? Wait, Chinese, that's AliExpress. Do not look on AliExpress for anything. Just ignore those Chinese cheap websites. Like right there as well. Don't even look. I'm not seeing... Oh, there was a bangle. I'm not seeing a ton. But it does look like like uh, green cinnabar is a thing. $595? What? Oh my gosh. What? Okay. This one, we're going to be researching. It is gorgeous. It is stunning. This is an important piece. Dawn from Hudson Vintage says it a lot when something is very valuable or historic or something like that. She's like, this is important. And when I hear her say those words, I know, okay, I need to look. <laughs> and I feel like this one is important. This one is definitely going to pay for the entire lot that I just bought. Probably the entire Shop Goodwill lot. Everything that I bought at once. This is this is the deal. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's gather our thoughts. <laughs> that was so exciting. Alright, this one looks like costume, but is this genuine stone? It feels colder but it might be 
like glass or ceramic made to look like stone. It's very beautiful and it has a spring ring clasp. Lovely. I think I will sell that one. Okay, what do we see here? <gasps> oh my god. I'm I'm I have not seen the other side. I'm get I'm hoping, I'm guessing it's a scarab or something. But this looks like a fur clip. It has a very ornate backing. Doesn't say anything. All right, let's see. What is it? Let's see. Oh, it's not a scarab. It's a person's face. <gasps> what? Wow. A Japanese? Chinese? Maybe? I, this is, this is weird. This is interesting. Like weird in a good way. Like someone putting this on their fur. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's keep going. That one was fun. All right, what did I grab? Oh, is this another fur clip? Oh no. Okay. This one is like a Russian gold color. Again, not marked that I can see it right now. But still, look at how beautiful. Faux pearls, some verdigris, but really, really, really beautiful. It's like, besides the verdigris, but it's tarnished in a very lovely old way. Super beautiful. Okay, that one is a yes. Oh, I see another like cigar styled ring. Maybe I will put this with the other one. Okay. Alright, here is ooh, here is another. Oh no, no, no. Aw, sad. They must have been rough. They must have just been hand hand falling this one. Because I don't I have not had a lot of broken stuff like this from Shop Goodwill in a long time. And yeah, this whole thing, like like there's multiple of the strands that have been broken. This would have been gorgeous. This was four strand, maybe Japan. So I'm gonna put that over there. That one's lovely. Ooh, we have a double strand. This one is marked Japan. It has that button box clasp, two different shades of pink. We love that. That one is a yes. Okay. We have this link bracelet with flowers and it is marked Coro. Lovely. That is lovely. So sweet. Okay, that one is a yes. All right, we have this one, which I already have sold before. Um, and it opens the basket. Actually, we have a story with that. There's a penny inside. Um, yeah, on the inside it says PAI. So this brand right here is in the files. The C, Pineapple C. I think it's something Nantucket or something something. Um, anyways, I'll put it up on the screen. I've sold this before out of the country. And this is like one of my more recent um, negative re reviews because it was lost in the mail for like a month or something. It's still, it's still lost. Um, and the person gave me a negative review even though I fully refunded them and it is completely lost. So I have another one. Should I send it to them just, just because? No. I'm going to resell this because this is a good brand to resell for sure. And isn't the that is just the cutest thing? The little basket with the penny. Uh, just so cute. That is a definite yes. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, these might be garnets. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm literally dying of how beautiful this is. I would not be surprised if this is gold or gold filled. Okay, should we check? Because these are genuine, hand knotted. These are garnets. This is something beautiful, like a light citrine or something. Okay, should we check? We're checking the sides. Okay, I see something there, I'm thinking. Let me just see. Where's my beautiful magnifying glass? Here. It says seven, no, it says something, seven, I 
think it might say 750 which I think is 18 karat gold you guys oh we have air we have 18 karat gold down here haha -ha, we can test it okay well first let's test the stones oh my word you guys this is I'm dying okay let's get this I'm so excited oh, okay this cream color is to the amethyst citrine quartz so I'm thinking this is a light citrine flower and then these definitely look like garnets for sure okay well they're slipping off but I pretty sure these are garnets yeah the garnet is right there right over here um right there so that garnet okay <laughs> I'm so excited I'm gonna take this out and then scratch it on the end of this to see all right so we have the scratch right there and we have my 18 karat gold and now the line should stay it's 18 karat no it ate that up so I'm going to see if if it's something different like maybe it says I can't read it really well so I'm wondering maybe it's gold filled I have to get my loop and read it better than just the magnifying glass um maybe it's gold filled or maybe it's a lesser gold but that is super interesting and super super beautiful like I kind of want to keep this I kind of want to like do the thing where I'm pricing it super high <laughs> for like another collector to like love it and then want to buy it because look at how beautiful these garnets are with and these are high quality pearls like they are genuine pearls but they're all so smooth and they're all almost the same size so this is very well made and then these might be either gold or gold plated spacer beads oh my gosh that is so lovely that is amazing all right again you guys make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed <gasps> baguette baguette and teardrop alert okay this is really pretty okay it is a foiled stone yeah this looks vintage it looks like a mixture of modern and art deco it really does but this is very sparkling um does this say anything yes the hook does say something the spring ring, I'm sorry, does say, what does it say? Sterling. So it does say sterling. Huh. So these are just rhinestones, but it looks like it says sterling. So that will be a yes, and then I'll test that later. Okay, I have this big, oh my gosh, this is so long. Okay, this is like opera flapper length plastic red faceted beads. Yeah, I'm going to sell this. Even though it's like cheap, this is old and it's very um, long. So that will be a yes. Ooh, this feels like onyx or something lovely. Bracelet. Again, let's see if this one is marked. This might be Vermeer again because it is, yeah, it's like tarnishing a little bit, the gold. Yep, nope, I have no idea, but I really think that this is onyx, hand knotted onyx, possibly. Okay, that one is a definite yes. Okay, we have this hand knotted glass bead. There is a little bit of wear right here, the ends. Again, this one is marked sterling, so it does have a sterling clasp cream colored hand knotted clean that and sell that one we have this 
which is interesting. I mean, there is wear to it. I'm probably just going to put that in craft. Although I have seen a hook like this on a bracelet where it opens like that. And it was marked sterling inside when I opened the hook. But this one is not. So that one will be craft. Uh, craft. And ooh, this is the one. This is like a tennis bracelet where it has the rhinestones in the middle of the chain link that is gorgeous love that that one i will sell and then we have a lonely earring right here which is pretty cool um it is an art glass earring molded together that is nice that is pretty pretty nice i'm wondering if the other one's in there hopefully all right let me move this to the side And we will get, we will get this. Dump these out. Oh my gosh, wasn't this such a good lot, you guys? Okay. That one was such a good lot. I'm rethinking <laughs> paying up for vintage because this was such a good lot. The other one was okay. I got a lot of things to sell from the other one as well. All right, we have some shoe clips, and these are so cute. Made in China. They're like lace with sequin and seed beads and little cha-cha thing. Um, this is gorgeous. These would be nice wedding for like wedding accessory shoes. My mom would, I think, would really like something like this. She loves lace. Um, yeah, I love this. Little shoe clippies. That one is a yes. Okay, we have these like glass beaded, white glass bead bunches. They are knotted. This, <coughs> excuse me, this clasp is a little funky. Um, not marked. I think I still will sell this. This is a big, bold, chunky look right there. All right. Let's look at this. Oh, these are so sparkly. Sparkling AB rhinestones. Little bit of wear to the enamel, but amazing three-dimensional um, flower clip-ons. Wow, those are pretty incredible. Yeah, not marked. And they are stunning. So AB rhinestone and AB um, coating was really popular in the 50s into the 60s. And that's stunning. Wow. Yes. Okay. We have these clusters, which are awesome. This is an interesting textured big pear shape right there. These all feel plastic, but they're fun. This is West Germany, which is very typical for this style of earring. Definitely want to sell these, especially that green color is very um, attractive, I think. Maybe not like ready to wear now, but I think it's interesting enough. Okay, we have these leaf like climber clip-ons. I don't think these are marked. Um, but I still will sell those. Okay, we have a black enamel and gold tone clip. Doesn't look like that one's marked. Where is the other one? Does it have another one? <laughs> Okay, well, these two are lonely right there. Let's see. So we have a scarf clip. This one, oh, I'm surprised this one is not marked. It actually is really well made, like really nice and heavy. And a matte gold. Wow, this one is really nice. Like even look at the back right here. Okay, so that one I will sell. That one is in great shape. Oh, this one looks like a West Germany all day. Has the faux like gold marcasites. Gorgeous though. Gorgeous. Okay, let's see. I don't see that it's marked. Oh, yes it is. There we go. Western Germany. Right there. Western Germany. I am so sorry you guys cannot see that very well. Um 
but yeah love that yes oh oh is this it yes okay we have these beautiful glass clip-ons yay yeah not marked but that's okay I think these are lovely I would have to do like a really nice close-up of these so that someone could see how these look but they're really lovely okay we have these which are also marked Germany white and clear rhinestone clusters yes oh here's the other one okay we don't have any more lonely those I will sell I'm probably gonna sell all of these if they're not broken okay what are these these are not marked just big giant but these would complement so many let me see so many different vintage um chains and things like that let me see if i can find that one i'm thinking about like this right here do you see this detail i feel like these would really complement a lot of necklaces that have that detail in it and then we have that one tassel chain let's see if i can oh i did found it right away from the last lot that we did like this tassel chain right here so even though these aren't marked i think that they would pair really nicely with a lot of different vintage pieces okay more clusters and these are marked japan wow that's a big big mac daddy spinning cluster <laughs> bead right here look at how fun oh and it has an ab coated rhinestone fun okay these i might not sell because they're not marked and they're just simple um faux pearl screwbacks so those are i'm just putting in the maybe this is marked west germany and it is a brushed gold almost silver tone but i think it's meant to be that color so yeah, these have these nice prongs on the side. I think that if I take a picture, I could, instead of just looking at it like this, you know, like far away, that really doesn't do a lot. If you take a picture like up close with those like really royal prongs, those really royal looking prongs, that would be fun. Okay, yay, yes, and easy to list, so, okay. Have these sweet sweet little leaf or lily or something these little sweet clip-ons those are adorable they're not marked that I can see but they are so sweet yeah that one will be a yes we have faux turquoise which kind of remind me of the art are they are they art except these are blue Wait, wait, wait. I see something. I see a maker underneath, underneath this. Okay, it says something crest, sand crest, something like that. Let's see if the other one, yeah, the other one is underneath. It's underneath the clip. Um, it says sand crest R interesting that is interesting I'm wondering if these are sterling I don't know interesting look at how cute these are those are adorable yes oh oh these are so cute oh my gosh these are genuine pearls this is Yes, honey. Not right now. Go tell daddy. So these are lovely. These are <clears throat> um, genuine pearls. They're not marked. I don't know. They they look really nice in gold. They really do look like gold. They're probably just gold plated, but still so sweet and nice screw backs. Yeah, I don't see any marks, but lovely. All right, last for that bunch, we have these are marked Japan. They're a lovely darker periwinkle blue. 
almost purplish. Love those. Okay. So that was an amazing lot. Yay. That was exciting. That was so much better than the last one. And the last one I paid so much more for. Okay. So I still have my coffee. And oh, I have my little earring stand. <laughs> Maybe I should have used that. But um, yeah, we're going to go through and see what matches we can find in this one. So, yay! Hope you guys are doing well. How was your guys' week? What are your summer plans? I am so excited for summer. Coming up, like summer break in, in regards to school, like in homeschooling. We go to the up north Wisconsin area, like way at the top. And we have, my mom has a cottage up there. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's start with these. I don't know if you guys have seen my like latest what's sold over the weekend video. Let me see if I can turn up the brightness a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I turned up the brightness a little bit. So um, in my last video, I had sold a lot of like enameled earrings from the 80s. These would probably be right there with that. Um, and I was saying how I do a lot of like enamel earrings in bundles. So yeah, I'm going to definitely sell those. Um, okay, we have these. Not sure. I'm just going to put these right here for right now. Um, oh, this is cute. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. These are so cute. I don't know why they did this in jewelry though, where they like just like glued chips of genuine stones into like their pieces. But look at how nice this matte heart is. So sweet. Not marked on that one. Here's the other one. Okay. Look at how beautiful. <gasps> we love these. Love, love. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That one is a yes. Okay. We have a door knocker situation. Three level, three layer. Oh, yes. Yes, it does. Okay. That's interesting. Looks like you can... No, never mind. I was thinking maybe it was one of those pierced ones where you can open it up and switch out. I have like um, abalone shell and also like mother of pearl wings that do that. Is that like an 80s thing? Okay, here's the other one. So swirl enamel, lovely teal, pink, and purple, super 80s. Love those. Door knockers. Yes. So those are going in my yes. Okay. Totally love these. Filigree, purple gemstone, maybe glass. Uh, earrings. Here's the other one. Here it is. Okay, we are loving this. So pretty. Is it marked? No. Okay, but look at how beautiful these are. Oh, so pretty. Okay, we like that. Yay! Okay, I see the paisley, which is what I saw in the bag before. Where is the other paisley? Do you guys see it? Oh, my hand was on it. Okay, so here are the paisleys pierced. Woo! Don't escape. Oh, that is so interesting. One of them is marked and one of them is not. So there, there it is. One of them says Berger. Berger? Berger? And I've sold, um, I've sold earrings and things like this, but this, I have never seen anything like this by Berger. Berger? Berger? Um, yeah, this is nice. I like that. Okay. I'm definitely, definitely selling those. Okay, see some clippies. Oh, okay, these are some statement chic clips. Okay, I don't see a mark. Sometimes they're like right where the um, the ear 
meets the earring, this little circle, there sometimes is a maker's mark right there, but the, like, not today. Looking in here, looking on there, sometimes along the side, but no. But these feel so nice. These are nice quality, really big size, probably really comfortable too. Has the padding in really great shape still. So that will be a yes. Um, what else? Okay, I have this one. Ooh, that, okay. This Is this real Damascene? Damascene? It looks, looks kind of like Japanese. Let's see what it says. Oh, it does. It says A-M-I-T-A -A, Japan. Amita Japan. But it's the black and the gold etched that has the Damascene style. Interesting. Wow, that's pretty cool. I would not be surprised if these were gold plated as well. These look really nice. Okay, yay, that's a yes, love those. All right, we have these, which are green. Where's the other hook? Are we missing a hook? Yes, we are. So that one is broken. I might have sold these otherwise, but <clears throat> these are some green plastic chandeliers. Um, I mean, they're not like wow, so I'm not really super sad, but someone can maybe do something with that. Okay, we have this. That looks like a, oh, here's the other statement. Okay, these almost are giving me like Egyptian revival vibes, kind of like an Egyptian collar, right? Um, oh, these are Marc Monet and they're pierced and they have that backing that's really nice where it clips. Oh, it doesn't even clip. It like slowly forms to your ear. Ooh, these are made so, so nice. Okay, I love this. I love this a lot. These are going to hold up for a really long time. These are a nice quality Monet earring. I kind of want to keep these for a little bit. Uh, yeah, these are nice. I'm going to put these to the side for me and I'm still going to list them. Don't get me wrong, but we're probably going to list them for like 30 to 40 dollars because I like them. Okay, we have this. Oh, here's the other one. Oh, these are nice. Rhinestone pierced gold. So like double hoop. Maybe is that that's what I would call it. Double hoop pierced vintage. It's like a door knocker style, but they don't move whatsoever. These are lovely. Wow. And they're made really, really nicely. Okay, I like those. Those are so beautiful. Again, we have these like eyelash things. Um, uh, okay, so I guess you would wear them with that down. I think I might have put eyelashes in my title of some silver tone ones that I have. Maybe like that. I don't know. But I think they're funky, they're fun, they're three-dimensional, they're textured, and we will sell those. Okay, so we have this Lucite. Ooh, this is a clear Lucite one. All right, do we have the other? And this one is broken. I don't know. If it, if it wasn't broken, I probably would definitely list. Ah, I see some, like, cracking through it. Okay, we're going to put those in craft. But if they're in really great shape, I honestly would list that purple Lucite, even though it might look like nothing to a lot of people. A lot of people really like Lucite. It's comfortable and it looks really nice. Okay, we have this like um, fabric looking one, waving fabric. Okay, where's the other one? It's pretty big. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, we have the match. It's the faux pearl cabochon. And then these like, I don't know, flags. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, not marked. I think I'll sell them. They are, they are nice statement earrings. So 
those will be a yes. Okay, we have this. Ooh, 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 screwbacks. Okay, here's the other one. Pink rhinestones. And look at that, that like fan that's like a filigree thing. Oh, oh, I love that. Oh, I love these. Oh, we love them. Those are so sweet. <gasps> I love these. And they're not marked. Wow. Still selling those. Those are great. All right. We have these. These, I believe, are Avon. And I have sold them recently. But they were in really great shape. These, I'm not sure if I can get that off. Not even sure what it is. And look at this fair degree on the back. Ah, these are going in the maybe. I don't know. I have sold those before. Just recently. Okay, so we have this red. We have... Oh, here's one. Okay. Oh, these are gorgeous. These look like the Grip... Grippois? Something. Grip... Gripois, Gripois, something um, that Chanel does and some other di designers do where they have these poured glass, brightly colored, jewel tone looks. Oh, these are marked. These are marked. I thought I, I thought these were not marked because this was blank back here. But right here it says Ellen Designs with a little like artist palette. Okay, we are all about that. That is amazing. I'm going to put up comps. Oh, and these are so nicely made. Yes, do you hear that glass? Even like look at it from the side. These are going to be worth something. I just know. I just know. These are beautiful. Wow. Wow, these are gorgeous. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like, I have never held vintage Chanel, but I would not be surprised if that's what this feels like. Okay, those are so exciting. Yay, I can't wait to research those. That's amazing. Okay, we have this. We have, oh, these are so pretty. Look at these clips. Okay, these are gorgeous. Are they marked? No, but they're stunning. Teardrop faux pearl and rhinestone. Wow. I love those. Yes. Um, these are, oh my gosh. Look at how sweet these are. Enamel with that raised Etruscan looking metal thing going on. Is that like a little tulip or something? <gasps> so sweet. Oh, they're marked. They're marked art. Yay! So Arthur Pepper is art. Yay! Okay, I'm so excited about those. Those are so sweet. <coughs> okay, we have that. Oh, here's the other one. So these are like a cream and black enamel, which is super chic. Cream, black, and gold. You can see this with like a tweed suit, honestly. Not my style, but someone's style. Um, <coughs> wow. Yeah, not marked. Pretty lightweight. It's like, not like a heavy thing, but these are some nice, nice earrings. So I will sell those. Okay, these are a hot mess. Hot mess. The denim is totally worn, and we're going to put those in craft. Okay, I see these. I have sold, or I might even actually still have, oh wait, these are black and white? Okay. <laughs> Are there more? Wait, there's this one. Okay, we have a black one. I have these and they are the Vargas, V-A-R-G-A-S. And they're white like this. Yeah, these are not marked. But I have some that are marked, that are marked Vargas, which is a good vintage brand. Oh, these are fun. Okay, where's the other one? Oh, here it is, haha. -ha. Okay, so we have black and they're like hand painted um, hand painted glass with like swirling in the background and there's black version and a white version. 
<gasps> love those. I love, I love these. I love, love, love these. So sweet. Okay, we love those. Those are amazing. Okay, these are marked. What are they marked? New Pro. And they're enamel. These are fun. They're kind of like a Southwestern vibe. Like, they're probably faux tarnished silver. Uh, I'm sorry. Tarnished faux silver. So not real silver. But these are nice. I don't think I've ever sold New Pro before. I'm pretty sure I have not. Okay, we have more clippies. Oh, and this is like a nice gold tone. And then it has the enamel, like an amber colored enamel. Those are nice. And not marked. Okay, we will sell those still. Okay. Anything else super exciting? This one? This one looks exciting. Ooh, the black and the red faceted. Is this glass? Sometimes if you... Yeah, I don't think I don't think these are glass. I think they're plastic. Okay, are they marked? No, not marked, but I still am going to sell these. These are fabulous. Maybe I can put gothic, Victorian gothic in the style because the red and the black remind me of like gothic. <clears throat> okay, we have these clippies. Faux pearl, these are in really great shape. Um, not marked. But I still really like these. Those are a yes. Oh, we saw those. This one and this one. Okay, so it has like a little jewel. A little like amber-ish yellow colored jewel at the top. They are clips. Not marked with a chain with this ball. Interesting. Kind of like retro. Fun. Hmm, those are cool. Yes. Okay, we have blue. And I think those are plastic again. Um, not marked, but yes. Love these. Look at how fantastic these are. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot to list. <laughs> um, okay. Ooh, ooh, I kind of really like these swirls. I really like this swirl enamel. Really pretty. It looks like the ocean. It looks gorgeous. Super pretty. Okay, yes. And, oh, I love these. I have, like, sold a lot of vintage jewelry that have these as spacers, so that would complement them really nicely. I don't see a mark. These are, like, nice, heavy, quality. Wow, these are, they feel a lot nicer than they look. They're like nice and heavy metal. Um, I would not be surprised if these were Monet or something like that. These feel really nice. So that's going to be a yes. That would complement a lot of vintage jewelry. Okay, we have this flower. Oh, that's pretty green. Turn. Oh, this one's bent. Can we save you? Let's see. Okay, not even like wiggly. Okay, cool. All right, we carefully saved this one. Look at that emerald green color. That enamel half hoop. Ooh, it looks like mermaid green. It is so pretty. Yes, that one is a yes. Okay, we have these funky earrings. Um, These are, uh, there's a little bit of gold tone loss to the edge. But these are really fun statement. The emerald green color again. I like the emerald green and the gold. I'm going to put these in the maybe. I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not completely sold on those. Okay. Oh, we have these. These look like Egyptian revival. Wow. Or something. Something tribal, ethnic, something. These are amazing. Okay. I love these. These are fun. That one is a yes. These are right next to each other. Oh, um, these are like giving me Givenchy vibes, don't they? Vintage Givenchy, Givenchy. Ooh, and they're like swirled on the back. When you look at them closer. <clears throat> yeah, not marked. Okay, these are beautiful. 
Love those. Those look fancy. <laughs> those look nice. Um, we have these like gold tone. What is this? This ginormous thing. Is there a match to this? <laughs> Here it is. Okay. These are some really funky retro. I could see someone wearing these to like a roller skating party. <laughs> like, right? Wow. Okay. I will sell those. I might put roller skating party in the title. Never know. Okay. These look like really fun, thick half hoop vintage earrings. I think I will sell these, even though they look like nothing. I think someone could bundle with these. I can use the term lipstick or cherry red, which people like to search for. Okay. I see this flower. Ooh, here are some milk glass. Yeah, these are milk glass. I don't think they're, they're marked. That will be a yes. Oh, here's the flower. Okay. Are they in decent shape? They are screwbacks. They are marked Japan. And there's verdigris on them. Oh, broken. This one's broken. And this one's broken. From the front, it doesn't look too bad, though. All right, we're putting those in craft. We have these knot ones not marked not are not marked and they are like a really nice blue enamel like like a nautical blue with with knots so very very nice okay yes we have these um how would they be worn so they would be worn like a square those are some big statement earrings yeah, I'll sell them. <clears throat> if I can include the word statement in the title, I'm usually like, yeah, I can sell them. <laughs> it's a hot mess, but they're statements. <laughs> these are gorgeous. I love these. These have the pink rhinestone and they're screwbacks. Not marked, but these are lovely. Look at how sweet these are. With the pink rhinestones. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, these look to be more modern and they're plastic um, lever backs. I'm gonna put those in craft. They're not in great shape. Ooh, look at this. This is another blue enamel swirl knot situation. And these are not marked, but they are a clip on. Oh, love those. Yes. Okay. What else do we see? We see these. Eh, not, not super excited about them. They're not in the best condition. There's some gold tone um, loss. So I'm going to put these in craft. <coughs> okay. Oh, we have these leaves. Huh. These feel a lot nicer of quality than what they look like. Like they're really thick. And it has a really interesting, like, fish hook thing. Where is the other one? Here. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I pictured these, if they would stand out, unless they were Anthropology or J. Crew or something. Like, I Google lens them, and then they told me that. I'm going to put these in the maybe. Because it might, it might be hard to sell. Okay, we have this lever back. Oh, it's marked LC. These might be, these are like a script LC. So these might be Lauren Conrad or Liz Claiborne. I'm going to have to look again at what the Lauren Conrad looks like. These actually have a pretty decent weight to them. Where, here's the other one. They're pretty cool. They're like kind of Southwestern. This looks like squash blossom type of look to it that little thing at the top <clears throat> okay so I'm going to probably sell them I, I have sold Lauren Conrad I do like selling Liz Claiborne okay what is going on here what is happening oh 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 it's the behind the ear thing so this whole piece sits under your earlobe like little paint drops that are flying away and then 
this paint drop, blood drop, whatever, <laughs> whatever weird thing this is, um, goes on, goes on the, uh, goes through the hole. So, wow, that is interesting. And not marked. I'm wondering if these are like an artisan thing. Interesting. Where's the other one? Here it is. Okay. So blood drop earrings, <laughs> something like that. Yes, we're selling those. Those are interesting. Okay. These are not in the best shape and they, they're a very trendy like style with these, um, half moons. But these are not in really great condition and they're not marked. So we're going to put those in craft. All right. Let's move these together. These are kind of interesting. Like they look like nothing. I'm wondering if these are Bakelite. I don't know. It's hard to test black Bakelite unless you can smell it. I don't know. These are not as heavy as Bakelite is though, but these are kind of cool. These are kind of fun retro earrings. Probably only get like $8 for those, but I still, I still like them. Okay. Um, meh. These are not super exciting. I don't know. Let's are these even earrings? Like this looks like a thick, this looks like a thick hook. Is it, does it go on a drink? Is it a drink like wine thing? I don't know. I could not, that looks like a big thick hook. Whatever. We're just putting these in craft anyways. <laughs> don't know what that is. All right. We have these hoops that remind me. Yep. 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 Okay. So it has the Monday thing right there and there's like a patent number and a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. So these are some Monet hoops, which is nice. People like some classic Monet hoops. Gold tone. Yes. Um, oh, we have this. Ooh, looks like some Peridot chips. All right. So we have these. These are like a mother of pearl and like Peridot chips. I don't think it's sterling, but it claps it clasps really nicely and securely. Um, so I do like that. So I think I will sell these wherever the other, oh, here it is. Oh, these are sweet. I like those. Okay. Yes. What else do we see? That might be fun. <clears throat> All right. Oh, those are flowers. Those are big button. Are these hand painted? Yeah, I think these are painted. Fl oh, this one looks a little bit more worn than I would like. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, one is a little bit more worn. I think I'm just going to put those in craft. Look at these hot pink. Those are fun. So we, it looks like we have a lot of... Mm, I might test those for sterling. These are maybe... What else? Screw back heart. Eh. Not really, not really doing a whole lot for me. Maybe these are worn. Basically everything else. Wait, is this a genuine pearl? Nope. Full pearl. Um, this clippy, I don't know. So it looks like we have a lot of like retro things that I might want to just lot up together. Like these earrings might look nice as like a retro lot, right? Here's some button, button. Yeah, these look like the same, but one's blue, one's purple. So I might do that with some of these, like lotting them as like a retro lot, <clears throat> maybe. Or, ooh, these ones, that would be fun. Okay. Ooh, and purple. We're getting a whole, whole vibe here. And then little tiny teal ones. Okay. Looks like we have a thing going on. Maybe I'll take these gold ones out. Oh wait, there's a pink one. Okay. How super fun was that? Yay. That was so much fun. I have so much to list now. So what I usually do is right after I've like sorted the little earrings and such, I will like, usually while I'm sorting, but not while I'm on 
sorting with you guys, I will, let me see if I can find a match again. All right, so usually while I'm sorting, not with you guys, um, I have like these little bags that are next to me and while I'm sorting and I put them in the yes, I usually just put them into these bags right away. And then I have a, a jar, or I'm sorry, a drawer or like a bin full of little bags. I'll either take some upstairs or I'll have some down here. And I just grab some and um, if I'm like in like a slump or I'm like I don't want to list or I'm tired or whatever, um, I just grab something that really interests me. Like, and that's, or that's really easy and it will just get the ball rolling. So um, that's kind of how I'm able to process and sort and list pretty quickly when it comes to that stuff. So hopefully this was fun for you guys. Yay. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed and you want to know more about jewelry, we have a Facebook jewelry community. Um, I have it linked down below and yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know how you guys are doing and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously. Bye guys. Thank you.